Hi guys, welcome to this second review about the Huion H420 USB graphics drawing tablet board kit. It comes for about $30 with Amazon Prime, maybe also from other online stores. So it's about half the price of other drawing tablets. It's a little bit smaller, you can see it here. Um, other tablets have the si about the size of a mouse mat. This is a little bit smaller. And the thing which I have found is also the uh, disadvantage that you have to, yeah, you need this battery. It can be open easily, so it can be replaced very easily you see that here uh, but it needs a battery some others are more expensive tablets they come with a pen which uh, doesn't need the battery but i guess uh, yeah it, it will last for quite some time especially when you turn have it turned off when you don't need it so here you have the on off and uh, now it's on so here it's off now when i do something like here when it's off it doesn't do anything when i turn it on i push it here then it moves you see uh, it, it 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 shows the green light now it doesn't show the green light here it doesn't do anything so i have now turned it on but for some reason it doesn't move the cursor. So why is it? Um, yeah, I had a difficult time figuring out what can cause this problem. As you see, it actually the tablet is working, but of course it needs a driver, and the driver is in the sys tray usually. And when you open that, and here I don't have this driver. So when you install the software it comes with this icon and it usually when you restart the computer it goes to the sys tray but sometimes when you need a little bit more performance uh, like for gaming you close uh, some of these things which you don't need like this one and other things and maybe you can also close this <clears throat> sorry for that okay uh, now we have it here and so you might think yeah okay exit uh, no problem but the problem is that you don't have any support for the tablet anymore the tablet will work so but it won't have any effect so you really have to make sure that this driver uh, is running here in the sys tray so uh, right click you have the exit um oh my god and left click you have different options i don't know why it's asking me all the time for this thing hold on a second yeah okay usually when i left click it just opens the um tablet settings so here you can assign uh, left button uh, I mean you can assign something for these two buttons here I move this a little bit on the side so you can see everything so here we have the front button and the back button and you can assign uh, functionality to these buttons here so but it's just like a mouse button so uh, I have chosen for the front like the right at uh, the left what's that uh, no first button the front I have assigned like a left button of the mouse and the uh, one uh, on the back I have made right button which means like escape or something like this so you also have pressure sensitivity I didn't have to adjust but you can and um, yeah here you can select the screen size but I mean there's no selection it usually probably I hopefully <laughs> it will pick the right size so because you have no choice here we have the 
pen test of course we can start drawing actually why doesn't it do anything let's see what's the problem usually it was ah working I'm not on the right something wrong I have to figure out what's wrong ah, I turned it off okay I have to turn it on okay so yeah what I have to tell you also now you see I'm just hovering with my pen on top of the tablet I don't touch it and it's still uh, working as a uh, mouse you can you can uh, uh, go around with the mouse the thing is it's not working like a real mouse you can't go to the right like this and then move it up go to the left side and go from there again this doesn't work you see the mouse uh, the mouse pointer uh, looks at the tablet like as the window so when you or here it's always left top when you are down here it's always right button here right top and here left button so no move up go to the left and go again so you have to have the whole space here in it from your tablet you have it to make it free uh, I mean it's a small tablet you should usually find a place um, to put it uh, what you could do is I mean yeah I continue with the VC test you see you you can uh, make this test you can also use the pointer to select the color and go from there you can also close these things yeah what you can do you can um, you have advanced settings hold on a second I do this with the mouse so here you have the area which is sensitive you can make this smaller so this should then be the like let's make this on the left bottom side so make let's make this the screen size you always have to put okay the, only then it works so here I go to the right side and you see I'm just in the middle of my uh, pad and I'm already on the right side of the screen okay so yeah that's uh, you can make it smaller so if you have just a small size I don't know when you have a lot of garbage on top of it or I don't know or if you want to uh, work faster and not so accurate so you can make this a little bit smaller so I go back to this because I don't want it I want to, f to have the full size uh, what's there's a problem with this I have to tell you at the moment I don't know if it's just with my installation or if it's with the current firmware I don't have any buttons on the left side you see here actually I have three express buttons and when I click on that you see the green light they are actually working both but they don't do anything in my case I had a communication with somebody else and uh, he said it has some functionality uh, like if it repeats something um, it this was not in uh, in my case or I, I didn't find out uh, how I would do that so usually on the left side I have seen other videos about this and on the left side here and here and here there should be buttons for the express keys these are not here in my um, yeah in my software I don't know why so you see here there is a, a thing that says disable express keys and it's obviously it's disabled and I can't enable I have really no clue what it is what what you can do is also you can uh, make left hand make it left hand so you can rotate it because you see there's uh, we can sh show you uh, here there's the um, USB cable and of course there's this inactive area and also the keys 
and when you want to use it as a left-hander then there's a problem because you, then you are on top of these things with your hand you have to rotate it and then the screen would be rotated so you can uh, click here and so you will have the screen um, yeah the, the screen will work as usual so I un, um, unselect it and what you can do you can also uh, disable the cursor so when you activate this uh, so I click on that so when I move uh, around with this you see this is my cursor and now it's uh, activated and I hover on top of it and it doesn't do anything with the cursor you see cursor is not moving so you can do that if you don't if you want to avoid that your cursor is moving but I think it's usually it's useful so you can just hover on top of the tablet use it as a cursor and when you want to paint you can really push down and do something oh hopefully I didn't change anything <laughs> okay that's it regarding these settings and what a lot of people don't realize there's another menu the software adds another menu here this wasn't here before so you can click on that and you get uh, pen and window ink settings that's something from Microsoft and you have this pen and window ink and you have several options also pen shortcuts and those things but in my case it didn't work I don't know maybe you can try it out maybe it will work for you what's that oh that was the obviously the wrong thing uh, now I'm a little bit yeah let's close this so okay and leave the bandicam open otherwise the video will stop like how can I make it full screen I don't know oh no that wasn't it um hmm I don't know so hopefully you can see everything again that was a little bit <laughs> fail so yeah back to this menu you have these pen and window ink settings and what you get sticky notes you can write something here uh, obviously put some notes here um, okay you can even use the window thing with your finger to put this on if you don't have a tablet delete um, what we have oh here as well we have the sketchboard it comes usually uh, originally with a really nice uh, drawing but I unfortunately have deleted it so but you can use you have a really nice some really nice options here on the top you can select uh, if you double click you can select color and the size for almost everything color and size also for this marker you can make it very wide and then you can uh, make it a little bit smaller when you don't press a lot when you press harder it gets a little bit thicker okay that's also a good thing and one of the best things I have found is this one the screen sketch you can take your uh, current screen and start making notes on it so you can if you do something like for a video like here you can mark things or write or mark, make a cross or, 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 or whatever you have also the different options of course where you can make things uh, wider and so yeah you can do uh, everything so that's really useful because otherwise you would have to make a screenshot and then open in the paint and paint has no uh, pressure sensitivity so that's a thing where you can use your current screen with and make paints with uh, pressure sensitivity so I hope I'm still on the video yeah that's actually it for the moment so I still like it it has some disadvantages 
compared to premium models uh, especially the battery but apart from that it's really good the software is really good and only I have to find out how I can activate these express keys but it's probably just a matter of the software I guess so hopefully I was able to help you a little bit with this video if you like it give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time